Hey everyone, welcome back to Mission 1820. In this week's episode of Have You Ever Wondered? If you're just joining us, we have been in a new series called Books of the Bible, where we are giving introductions to each book of the Bible in just five minutes or less. So, without further ado, let's get to this week's book, the book of First Kings. This is the 11th book of the Bible, and it's also the sixth of the 12 historical books found in the Old Testament. Now, the book of 1 Kings is a, I mean, it's a drama, to be honest with you. It's filled with kings, prophets, battles. You're going to find miracles as well. You know, it's part of the history of God's people. It shows the rise and fall of the great leaders, as well as the choices that shaped the nation. Now, the book of 1 Kings is the sequel to the books of 1 and 2 Samuel, which follows the rise of Solomon's kingship after the death of his father David. Now, under Solomon's leadership, Israel did rise to the peak of her size and glory. Now, Solomon's great accomplishments, probably the biggest one he had, included the unsurpassed splendor of the temple which he built in Jerusalem. Now, this brought him worldwide fame and respect. However, after a few years, Solomon's zeal for God diminished because of his many pagan wives who turned his heart away from God and then towards their pagan idols. This resulted in him leaving behind a divided kingdom. Now, the book contrasts the lives of those who live for God and those who refuse to do so through the history of the kings and Judah. Now, the book itself can be divided into two main sections. The first being the United Kingdom under Solomon. This is in chapters 1 through 11 and covers about 40 years in time. The second section, this is the divided kingdom under many kings. This is found in chapters 12 through 23 and covers around 90 years of time. Now, the books of 1st and 2nd Kings were originally just one book, but the division of the books was made in the Greek translation of the Old Testament known as the Septuagint. Then, in the Latin Vulgate, in which all the other English translations followed suit. Now, the author of the book is unknown, but some try to speculate that the prophet Jeremiah may have written it. Others believe that a group of other prophets wrote it in the year 550 BC. First Kings covers the 120 years from the beginning of Solomon's reign in 971 BC through Azahiah's reign ending in 851 BC. But in 931 BC, this is the year that the kingdom was divided into the northern nation of Israel and then the southern nation of Judah. Some of the places you're going to read about are going to include Shechem. You'll read about Israel and Judah, Jerusalem, as well as Mount Carmel. There's a lot of key players. You're going to read about Solomon, Rehoboam, who was Solomon's son, Jeroboam. You read about Elijah and Elisha. Now, in the book, there's a whole lot of events that do take place, but a couple of them. You're going to read about the building of Solomon's temple on Mount Moriah, the taking up of Elijah in a chariot of fire, as well as the dividing of the nations. Solomon is identified as the wisest man who ever lived, yet all his wisdom certainly didn't protect him from acting foolishly in the matter of his personal relationships because the book tells us that Solomon loved many foreign women. He had 700 wives and 300 concubines. Now, these were women that God had forbidden the Israelites from marrying, yet Solomon went ahead and did it. And when he grew older, they, his wives, turned his heart away from the true God and toward the other false gods. The book is a relatively short book. It only covers 22 chapters, but it stresses many themes. But the one takeaway we need to see is that disobedience with God creates division from God. So I hope this short introduction gets you ready to read the first book of Kings. So God bless and thanks for watching.